Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Lucid, and we've got a little 1v1 duel. We're doing uh, Pangea versus Balba. So far, it's been going well for us, but as is the case in the 1v1, um, things can go real bad in a hurry. So let's see if that happens. Ooh, he's attacking into us. Well, that is a bad day for him. We lost two of our hero fence, though. That's not good. We tried to forward position him, but it didn't work. Uh, that's probably a good game for him. I'll have to check the chat, see if he's conceded. Oh my god. Well, that was a PD dump. Yeah, I think he's dead. We lost three guys killing uh, 40 PD. Oh, he split his main army, too. Did we kill anything? I got the value pick off. One's a Balvin warrior. Um, yeah, he's toast. My main army isn't even there yet. <clears throat> What the fuck? Jesus Christ, dude! Tower of the Seven Tombs? Oh my god, four Death Gems and then Dustwalkers? That's pretty good. He's got some Beast Bats. I don't think those are going to save him. Don't think those are going to save him. I'm going to look in the game. All right, so I went and checked Discord, and by the time I had gotten there, he um, he had said, I think that might be the critical turn, and that makes my position no longer viable. So, yeah, he had actually conceded. I didn't even have to, to broach the topic. Um, but, yeah, he his position, I think, was on the edge before this, and then now it's basically hosed. Um, he's lost his PD dump. He's lost a lot of mages. He... Uh, and my big army is on the way, right? Uh, and meanwhile, we haven't really lost that much aside from what the Indies have killed. Um, I guess I'll do my my thoughts here. First of all, 1v1 blitzes are kind of fun. They're very quick. Uh, they're very aggressive. And in fact, like one thing you'll notice is in a 1v1, you, you like in a multi in a free for all game, you normally get the indies before you attack another player because attacking another player is expensive. It opens you up to coalitions. Um, you know, all of that. In a 1v1, it's way different. In a 1v1, it's like, why attack indies when I could take an enemy player province, right? Um, and I mean, sometimes you still do. We were taking indies the whole time. But um, anyway, you can see how just cutthroat aggressive it was. And in those kinds of games... You really want a strong bless. And, you know, he did that. He had a pretty strong bless. It was pretty scary. You know, these guys hit, like, goddamn freight trains. I mean, look at the bonus strength here. Plus seven on a two-handed weapon, so they get an extra bonus. They hit, like, freight trains. Um, their defense isn't great, and their armor is not great. But, um, but yeah, anyway, they're pretty good. Let's see how they actually do in combat. Like, let's take a look at some of these guys. Um, missed. Oh, wait. Seder missed. Sun Guide hit Seder. Seder missed. Seder. White Centaur hit for 10 damage. White Centaur missed. What has this guy been up to? Sun Guide missed. Their attack skill is pretty damn good, too. He got how much attack? Six attack. I really wish I had gotten defense on my Bless. Strength, larger. Um, well, let's look at some other guys. Oh yeah, here they're getting repelled some. Um, 
Um, white centaur hit. Oh, wait, we already looked at that guy. What about this guy? Ranged attack. Might be easier to look at some of these guys. Uh, he's not really getting attacked. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, here we have the numbers advantage, so it's not really a good sign, but... Yeah. But, um... But yeah, I think, you know, it was a cool build. Um, I do think fighting Pan early is kind of the worst. I think it's, like, on my top list of nations, I really don't want to fight them in Vanheim. It just is no fun to fight them early. Um, because all the things we were doing here. Um, I think the only way to fight them early is you need something equally cancer in terms of bless. And I would describe Zabalba's build as solid, but, and there might, I think he said he had issues with scales, like he wasn't able to max production, but, um, I mean, we kind of did too. Uh, we kind of just prepared this the last minute before the game started, but, um, but yeah, it, um, I, I don't think Zabalba could hold up to Pan. I mean, he could have. I would have had to have made some mistakes. But if I made, like, two or three mistakes, like, if he baited me into different traps, he was going to be in trouble. On my side, like, sure, you could say this was a mistake where he split his army and ran in here, where we could have defended it. We kind of anticipated him correctly. You know, we had set up some traps before he dodged, too. So, um... I think the difference was like the quantity of mistakes you have to make. And he had to make very few mistakes and I had to make a lot. Cause if we look at the graphs, you know, I was like way, way ahead. So um, anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, cheers to Zubaba and um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.